How to add Wix email subscribe form 2024 quick tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we are going to be talking about how you can add email subscribe forms through Wix in the easiest and most simplest way possible. So Wix is obviously, as you know, a whole gunslinger with tons and tons of attributes and features to work from. And, uh, you know, the Wix email subscribe feature allows you to do this in the easiest and most, you know, simplistic way possible. Now, how we're going to, you know, actually get our head around to doing this is obviously you're going to want to make sure that uh, the, you know, working you have of your page or the actual, you know, interface you have of your page or the design that you have of your page needs to be, you know, accordingly and work perfectly. So to start our email subscribing off or to start our email subscribe form off, what we're going to do is I'm going to come here and click on create new site for my dashboard. And once I do that, to make an email subscribe form, uh, it says like, do you want to create it with AI, etc, etc. You can do that. You can go and start a chat and let the AI know I want it. I want an email subscribe form and it will give it to you. But I'm going to go ahead and click on setup without AI because I don't really see the need of AI when you can do it yourself. So here, you're going to be writing blog coming soon. This is what we're going to be going with. Trust me, it won't make sense right now, but it will sooner in the video. So once you go with that, it's going to say, what's the name of your business? You can change it anytime. Now, you can actually go over here and enter your business name, you know, whatever the name is. I'm going to call it, um, you know, John Shoes. I'm just going to call it that randomly right now and click on next. Now, once you click on next, from here, it's going to bring you here where it says, what do you want to add to your website? Now, obviously, if it's a coming soon website, then chat and, uh, you know, different forms are something that you're going to need to add. So you can actually pick up bookings and all these things from here. but here we have forms, here we have chats. You're just gonna need that and we're gonna click on next, okay? So these were the, the attributes that you add into your page and I just added those for myself. Now it says start setting up your business. It gives us two options. So start designing your site or you know get a custom built site. I'm gonna go ahead and click on begin with a template and start designing my site normally. Now here you get all these coming soon websites. So just go choose a website that you think looks cool. Like, um, let's say this one, this one looks really cool. This one looks really nice. So I'm going to click on edit and let's see where it takes us. So obviously it takes its uh, time to load in. So you're just going to give it its time. And obviously as it's uh, loading in, what we do after it loads in is we go ahead and uh, actually start working into its depth and detail. Now, the fun part about using some software like this for yourself is the fact that it gives you so much more you know privileges into adding things on your account and it's a pretty incredible thing to have for yourself so here it says let ai write your site content now to let ai write your you know uh, site content it's pretty easy to do that and you can let just let AI do everything and it will save you a lot of time. But obviously right now, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how you're going to do this by yourself. So once you're over here, okay, what you're going to do from here is obviously you can zoom in and zoom out of this if you want to. I'm going to keep it here so I'm a bit zoomed in. Now once we are over here, you know, you have one page, which is your basic main home page. And from here, you can actually start designing. Okay, and you can start getting into the actual depth and detail of, uh, you know, adding your email subscriber form. And it's really simple. It's really easy. I'm going to walk you through it in like about a few minutes. So first of all, you have your home over here. You can keep that home right there because you need to have a basic header concept. And this is our basic header concept. Then you have your logo. Okay. So let's say, as I said, my name was John, and I'm just going to call this S. I was going to write S over here. So John S. And now it says, great things are coming. Now it says, learn more. So let's say I'm going to write over here, 
new stock will be here shortly and here it says get i'm gonna write get notified now the reason i wrote get notified is then people will want to get notified when the new stock comes up so they're gonna click on this and what will this do you can see that it's hyperlinked to something so it's hyperlinked to a pop-up box now to check that pop-up box out you can go into pages and menu and here it says pop-up box and look at that this is going to be your email subscribe form okay now if you want to change this for yourself because this is your basic light box let's say i'm going to delete this and if you want to add your very own let me show you how you're going to do that so to do that i'm going to click on add okay and once you click on add what i'm going to do is i'm obviously going to add a page once we go and add a page in this ads page section you know i'm just uh, going to take a blank page with the same color scheming as this there we go and once you get this i'm just going to remove any text on it okay i'm just going to call it that click on done and once you do this over here in start your designing section what we're going to do is we're going to come to add elements and once you go to add elements here you're going to see contact and forms so once you see contact and forms here you are going to see all these contact forms with the email subscriber lists and all so obviously we are going to want to add a good form that matches the color scheme of this page so let's go ahead with this one over here and go ahead and add that right here and once we add that right here there we go and you can actually change the color of this form so you can go into your form settings once you go into your form settings add as much detail as you want to you can even uh, by the way take these widgets of your page down here so if like someone scrolls down that's the only point that they'll see these things so you know you get the point so this is your basic subscriber form i can bring this into the center like this and once this is done just publish your page and that is how you can add a wix email subscribe form so i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.